Hey everyone, welcome to UK and Automate. Today we are going to learn about uh, how to scroll to particular web element. What is the scenario here is, so for example, you are working on one of the web page and you have some of the web element and uh, to perform some of the actions on that particular web element, you need to scroll to that particular web element because that web element is somewhere below the page and directly as soon as you load you cannot do operations on that but you need to scroll to that particular web element and then you need to do some actions on it so that is what we are going to learn about it how to do it and uh, what all steps we need to take it say for example i'm opening amazon dot on here searching for some of the text here that is a bean bag and as soon as i enter a bean bag if i hit enter i'm going to the list of search results and uh, if you scroll down to the page there is one of the web element that is a min if i want to search some products with a minimum price say for example here i want to enter some value right uh, and i want to search the products with that particular value say for example i want to enter 1500 and go it should list me all the products which are starting from 1500 right so this is my desired results which i want but the problem statement here is as soon as you load on this particular page you will not see that particular web element you need to really literally scroll to that particular web element and do some operations on it so let's uh, go and create one test here first i'm going to click, uh, click on a new file here i'm going to create one file called scroll to web element test.js right so here i want to create one of the uh, test script here and i want to write a test like this i'm starting with the describe method here in the describe method i'm going to write some description here that is scroll to view right the scroll to view is the functionality which we are going to see here scroll to view method in web driver io right so this is my uh, particular uh, scenario here and as it is a async method i'm going to add a keyword called async and followed by arrow mark followed by a flower bracket inside that i'm going to write a test with the it method in the it method i'm going to write a particular statement that is i should be able to scroll to particular web element in web driver right this is my test case and as it is a async method again i'm adding a async keyword here followed by arrow mark flower bracket and here i am going to write my first step that is a browser dot url here inside the url i need to provide the url which i want to launch so here i want to launch amazon dot in so i'm copying it here and pasting it here right so amazon dot in so i'm adding a await before the browser dot url and next one what i need to do here is as soon as i load the particular amazon dot in i need to enter some particular keyword in a search bar right uh, then only i'll be able to perform some operations on it so first i need to inspect this particular uh, search bar and then i need to write a locator for that to perform some of the actions on it right i'm going to inspect this particular search bar here and this has a attribute id and it has some value also let me take this particular value and as it is a id i'm going to write a css locator here css locator starting with a hash symbol and followed by value it right so this is what i'm going to use it and copying this particular value here and going to my test i'm going to add a next step that is a await and a dollar symbol inside dollar symbol within single quote i am putting this particular value here and here i need to set some value right uh, set value is to insert some of the text input into the search bar here and inside this i'm going to write a text called bean bag right and semicolon this is uh, the second statement after entering a text into this i need to click on the magnifier icon so that i'll be able to see some of the search results right let me inspect this particular uh, magnifier icon again here and see what are the different uh, attributes it is giving if you see this particular web element has a span tag right 
span tag has some of the class uh, value and uh, it is uh, getting identified by using a class attribute. Let me use this particular class uh, uh, attribute here as it is a class I am adding a dot symbol to write a CSS locator here. Let me copy this particular uh, value here and in the next statement I am going to add that await dollar within single quote I am copying the entire value here and then after that I need to click on it right? to do a uh, click operations on it. After as soon as I uh, do a click operations on it right uh, the page will be loaded. So I am adding some browser dot pause here so that uh, it will wait for some three seconds right? and uh, after entering here so for example bean bag I am entering clicking on search magnifier icon it is taking me to a search results. Here if you do a scroll down there is a text min. Here I want to enter some value in it right. Uh, so for example here I am going to add some value and so here I am identifying the locator for this right uh, to do some operations on it it has the ID and we are taking the ID with the hash symbol right and followed by the value of it just copy this particular value here go to your test case and here I am going to create one variable called min right min value may or min input right min input box here I am going to add a locator for this uh, dollar symbol within single code adding the entire value here so why I am creating a variable is I want to reuse it right that's why I am creating a variable and assigning the locator for it right and uh, after this I want to reuse this particular min value okay and uh, I want to use this main input box and I want to scroll to that particular web element right to do a scrolling operation I need to use a scroll into view this is the method which is given by webdriver IO to scroll to particular web element so I am adding a min input uh, box dot scroll into view this will take me to that particular web element okay uh, I am adding a wait here after scrolling to that particular web element I need to do some operations on it what is the operation I want to add some value in the text box right I mean input box dot set value here in the bracket I'm adding some value say for example I'm adding some number 1500 and uh, after entering some of the value inside the text box I need to click on the go button right so this is how 1500 I'm entering I need to click on the go button so let me inspect this particular go button here and it has the particular value it has a class attribute and it has some value let me write a CSS locator for that dot followed by the value okay this is a CSS locator let me copy this particular value here again I'm going to write await followed by dollar inside this I am going to put the value and then I need to click on it right to perform some of the operation to to search for the entire results so, okay so this is my uh, entire test case entering a value in it and clicking on it now I need to wait for some of the seconds to see what are the different results which are coming after clicking on the go button right okay now let me run this particular test case here so I am adding a command called npx right wdio run followed by wdio conf.js and I want to run a specific file here that's why uh, I am adding a iPhone iPhone spec followed by test and then followed by specs and followed by the actual test case file name okay now let me move this particular file into a spec folder as it is outside now okay now I need to add that particular test case name right so this is what I'm running here now okay let it run it is launching the browser oh, it is failed let's see why it is failed unable to load spec file okay there is a typo in the describe method 
let me correct this and run it again okay it is launching the browser here now it has to enter a keyword called bean bag click on the search icon right now it has to scroll to particular uh, web element here that is a mean and it has to enter right it has done so fast right now let me add some await here so that i can see what is happening there uh, after entering the value and clicking on go button let me run this test case again loading the website entering the keyword called beanbag clicking on the search magnifier icon scroll to the element right and then add some value click on go button so if you see here all the results whatever we have got is above 1500 yeah this particular test case got passed so to summarize uh, in webdriver io to scroll to any of the web element we use a method called a scroll into view so that uh, we can scroll to that particular web element and do some operations on it the same we how we have done it so you can try out this method and do let me know if you have any questions inputs any doubts and you can subscribe this channel for more of the v videos thank you see you in the next video